Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This is probably going to be a very quick one because I have a tip that is really simple but it's something every player should know. And I want to say a massive thank you to Jarlavi for tweeting this at me on Twitter. You are the MVP. It is greatly appreciated. This is such a cool tip. So yesterday uh, 18W32A came out and it introduced dead corals. So corals are these blocks right here. When you place them uh, above water they will now turn to dead corals eventually with a little bit of time. That is very unfortunate. In order to keep these uh, from going dead, they need to be in contact with water. And there is actually a really, really clever way of doing this. And that is to essentially waterlog a block. Well, I didn't know that that was there. <laughs> Let's just move over here for a second. Um, if I click there with the water bucket, we have now waterlogged that block. So then this thing is able to stay like so for quite some time. Let's do that with all of these as well. One, two, three, four. Uh, maybe I actually clicked on that one. Oh yeah, and when you try and then remove the block, <laughs> um, it's it's going to wall log the block rather than place and remove it. Let's do that again. Uh, so now we've got the other types in right here, and they all keep their colour, so that's fantastic. And if we type slabs, you can see that there are quite a few slabs in the game. So if you're working with an environment perhaps that's uh, green, like some grass, maybe you could use a dark prismarine. You're basically going to have to match the colours, so to speak. Your options are going to be a little bit limited by the colours of these slabs, but it is possible to make things blend, and there you go. You've now got some of these flowers resting out there in a grassy biome. That's really cool. I also want to extend this trick to the fan blocks over here as well. These go on the side and tops of blocks, so again, we can use the uh, same trick. This time, though, I'm just going to use stairs over here since that's what's on my hotbar. And let's place down the fan block like that. This can also be placed on the side of a block, and that side of the block is unfortunately not waterlogged, so that thing is going to go dead. You could also use it like this, right? You could use the stair blocks and then put your fan on the side of it and it will stay that way, which is fantastic. Once again, you're going to be limited to the colours of the stair blocks. There are some greenish variants here if you want to mix it with grass and there are other colours as well that will hopefully um, be useful. But that is just a tip that every player needs to know, right? Uh, allows you to use these things outside of the water in your builds and I think that's fantastic. It could still be a little bit tricky based on where you're actually placing these things. And so again, massive thank you to Jar Larvae. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you want more useful Minecraft information, check out the tutorials playlist. But that's it from me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.